Broccoli and autism. I bet you never could figure out that those two actually can be connected in a positive way. I mean, in a very positive way. In what was beautiful research work done by John Hopkins University, they discovered a connection. Now, here's where it leads. In this article published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences is October 13, 2014, titled, Chemical Derived from Broccoli Sprouts Shows Promise in Treating Autism. Now, what researchers did here was what researchers do best, a little bit of detective work. When interviewing parents of children with autism, the parents would often say through observation that when the child had a fever, a lot of the symptoms of autism began to improve. So, the researchers said, researchers, what out there could kind of mimic the exact same thing that fevers do without actually giving the children fevers? Well, this is where it led. And here it goes. Because fevers like sulforaphane, phonetically, sulforaphane, sulforaphane, derived from broccoli sprouts, initiate the body's heat shock response. You see the connection? Fevers initiate the body's heat shock response. So does sulforaphane. Obviously, without giving you a fever, otherwise you'd be eating broccoli and getting sick all the time. So, what they did is they moved forward with the study. They took 26 subjects, children with autism, and fed them between 9 to 27 milligrams of sulforaphane for 18 weeks. They started taking measurements at 4 weeks and took measurements at the end of 18 weeks. And the researchers said they noticed at the beginning of 4 weeks they started to see improvements. At the end of 18 weeks, the measurements came out as follows. They looked at three behavioral tests. They looked at an aberrant behavior, uh, aberrant behavior checklist, social responsiveness scale, and clinical global impressions improvement scale. And the aberrant, aberrant, aberrant behavior checklist, they noticed a 34% improvement. And the social responsiveness scale, a 17% improvement. And the clinical global impressions improvement scale, they noticed a 46, 54, 42, which is social interaction, apparent behaviors, and verbal communication, respectively, improvement. So, this is what also happened, too, which is interesting. So, we got it down that sulforaphane somehow mimics the response of fever, and all the children began to improve in, their in the symptoms of autism. Now, keep in mind, when they removed the broccoli sprouts from the study, these symptoms began to get worse again or turned to the way they used to be prior to the clinical. But this was amazing. And this is sometimes how research comes out, things that you don't expect. And I'll read you verbatim ex exactly what happened in the study. Zimmerman adds that before they learned which subjects got the sulforaphane or placebo, the impressions of the clinical team, including parents, were that 13 of the participants noticeably improved. For example, some treated subjects looked them in the eye and shook their hands which they had not done before. They found out later that all 13 had been taking the broccoli sprout chemical sulforaphane, which is half of the treatment group, which is pretty amazing. So, there seems to be a lot of promise for this little chemical element derived from broccoli sprout that's sulforaphane. Again, this is a pilot study, but still amazing detective work and an incredible connection which is definitely worthy, worthy of future research, which I hope they do. Thank you very much. This is Ralph Church Channel, signing off once again.